he, you know, he sipped a little drink whenever he felt like it, but he wasn't no frequent drink head, you know what I mean? So he was like, uh, P, man, uh, what nigga get some drink at, man? R.I.P. R.I.P. Man, what nigga get some drink at? He like, man, I got a little, little three and a half for a four right here. He say, let me see it. And he like, here you go, man. And he took that bitch. He say, that is about a three and a half, huh? He popped that bitch and he gloop, 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 knocked that bitch down straight. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk. So when you look at how they portray that uh, pimp, you know, we're going to go back to him, that he was, you know, like like on the serve, and this is what, what how he passed. I'm going to go back to that. Mm -hmm. Like, do you agree with, with that being a portion of something? Because I, I heard it was no test or nothing like that. No autopsy. Was it an autopsy, or do you remember? I, I believe it was. It was, okay. Yeah, I believe it but was. But it didn't show no traces of nothing. Uh, I believe what they were looking for, they found small traces of it. Okay. And they wanted to attribute that to uh, towards his death. But we just, I don't believe that personally from the conversations with me and Mama. Um, I'm glad you brought that back up, because this is the part I was going to tell you. When we were leaving Dallas that day, um, heading back to the high rise to cut those records and all that, me, him, and Ira P was sitting in the um, hotel parking lot right in front of the hotel. And he, you know, he said a little drink whenever he felt like it, but he wasn't no frequent drink head, you know what I mean? So he was like, uh, P, man, uh, what nigga get some drink at, man? R.I.P. Ira P. Man, what nigga get some drink at? He like, man, I got a little, little three and a half for a four right here. He say, let me see it. And he like, here you go, man. And he took that bitch. He say, that is about a three and a half, huh? He popped that bitch and he gloop, 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 knocked that bitch down straight. Wow. Yeah. So the whole trip back from Dallas to Houston, he was in a van. He was knocked out in the van and shit. And so when we got back to the high rise, we get outside the car and everybody talking, congregating. They're like, what are we going to do? I'm like, shit, we ain't going to leave him in the damn van. Let's wake him up and help him upstairs. So we woke him up, helped him upstairs. He was really groggy. His voice was like really gravelly. And so when we got him upstairs, he was like, man, we finna record and we finna do this and we finna do that. And I'm like, this nigga voice is out of there. We ain't finna do shit. Yeah. And I had this little slim reindeer looking little pretty. <laughs> man, let me tell you about this bitch. Like, I had a little mama <laughs> waiting on me, man. Couldn't wait till I get home. So I'm like, man, I'm, fin I'm finna go to the crib. Y'all niggas ain't finna drop no records. This shit gonna sound like shit. And I shot out, you know what I mean? Got my cook go get my yeah. castle great school. Got to have it, don't talk about. So the next day, them niggas called me like, man, you should have came back. I'm like, why? He said, man, we cut by three, four records. I'm like, how y'all cut three, four records? Man, that nigga voice was out right. of there. So they like, man, listen, and them niggas push play, and that nigga on hooks and shit, that nigga rapping. I said, man, I told, girl, get your goddamn hands off me. <laughs> Jump back in the lag and smash back and, and, and finish cutting the records. And what he did that made me feel so inclusive and so loved and so Part of this shit, man. I hate this shit over with. Damn it, man. Yeah, but you old ass nigga glad, huh? Nah, nigga, we still fighting and kicking. No, I'm talking about yeah, yo. So when I got back, man, he like he's man. We left these verses open for you, man. Go and write your verses. Almost cried, my nigga. Are you serious, man? Cause I, and, and what I'm gonna tell you this that really messed with me. And here's the deal. When you said something the other day, when last time we was on here, me, you, Mr. Lee, and Bobo, remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. And you was like, man, they took you off of some verses. Mm -hmm. Was that some of the verses that you exactly. were talking about? Exactly. So it meant so much to you. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? And yeah. they took you off because they yeah. found bigger names, of course, to try to... Business. Yeah, but, but at the same time, intimate moments like that, business people don't give a <laughs> fuck about that. But that's something you tie to for the rest of your life. So I didn't ever feel like, ooh, I'm going to run to the public and try to get the arms of the angel hug on me to make me feel better. Fuck it. Business-wise, they took me off a damn near four. They left me on two. And I might have traces and remnants of the ones that I was on. So one day, I might just splash them bitches in your motherfucking ear, nigga. <laughs> Fuck Man. You, man. So... And and that's the that, that's the game, you know. Some Bun said that sticks out to me is that he said once he's gone, that there's gonna be a lot of stuff that's gonna start coming out because he said he feel like people right now are not gonna do it with him being still alive. It's harder for a lie to die than the truth to live. You know what I'm saying? That's and so 
And then one day I'm going to be gone. And I'm yeah. telling you, I can tell you right now, it's going to be niggas coming out the woodworks y'all ain't never seen in your life. But there's a lot of people that stole shit, music, clothing, equipment, stole a lot of shit. And they, but they know they can't pull a lot of that shit out and release a lot of that shit because I'll be on their ass. Right. I would I would agree with that. Because he, they, he, they know the repercussions that will come behind it. I would agree with that. That makes sense, huh? It happens with everybody. Wow. But the thing is, we're not going to even be here that long. So we got to love each other, man. We got to start hearting each other while we here, my nigga. I Look agree. how many people you done lost like that. Yeah, been, I just lost a homeboy the other day. A nigga told me I laugh too much and I clown too much. You goddamn right, nigga. I'm going to have fun with the rest of this motherfucking time I got on this earth. And I'm going to heart my people. And I'm going to help as many as I can. Fuck you sour-hearted ass niggas. Wow. Man, so how t- is you finding this stuff in the comments easy or is this niggas telling you that? Because I don't think too many niggas run up on you telling you a whole bunch. Man, niggas is, man. These niggas is not that And sometimes it ain't even niggas. It little old four foot eleven <laughs> white niggas. Little oh, old yeah. punk ass, uh, one troll ass motherfucker who ain't never did nothing but dick ride for transportation to and from anywhere he went. He's still hating on a nigga 18 years, man. Really? Come on, man. Bitch man. ass. Nigga. So... When you go back to Port Arthur, is there anything signifying like a mule or stuff or Pimp C? Uh, I think they did a new one. Okay. But when I'm in PA, I'm fucking with trill ass niggas that I really fuck with. You know, family members and shit like that. And I'm glad you asked that because that brings me to what I'm doing right now. I got this okay, okay, trill stories, original gangsters and hustlers. I'm taking the goddamn covers back and showing you why the word trill was even uttered. I'm showing you the niggas, the stories. I'm showing you all of the bottom, the slugs, the bugs, the worms, the niggas went did all that time. The bona fide street trill niggas that made that whole motherfucking city move the way it moved and made motherfuckers interested and in wanting to hear them raps and that content. Wow. Did man and and when it, and when is this when is this gonna happen? We already shot the first episode, my nigga. P A Black. We gonna drop that bitch probably uh maybe Saturday uh hopefully. Then I got all kind of other niggas and these are people that bun know also. This is very verifiable people. People who then we did 15, 20 years. People who didn't caught bodies in all kind of shit. Gang bangers. Niggas who didn't got shot six, seven, eight, nine, ten times. Like. I'm not going trying to exploit their stories. I just always was trying to get in position to go back and find the niggas that came up like me and try to get them some options and resources because they were so fucking brave. So them being that damn brave doing some bullshit, what could they really do in this world where all these opportunities are abundant? They keep niggas like that out of corporate America because they know they're going to excel. They want that type of nigga knuckle dragging. They want that type of nigga doing some shit where he ain't got to use his mind. He just got to use his body. That John Henry shit. You see what I'm saying? Somebody have to take our people out of that John Henry shit. And the show ain't going to be me. The motherfucker stubborn in the bitch. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.